Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MobMaya.com. Today we're checking out the best tweaks for the week. The first one we're looking at is called Quick Share. This is just an easy way to share using the activator. And that means you can add gestures. You can choose whichever gesture you want it to be. I chose Triple Press. And you'll see when I Triple Press that it opens up the Quick Share tweak. And this is a free tweak in the My My repo. So let's go to our home screen, triple press. And you see we get three options, Facebook, Twitter, or iMessage. So if you wanted to send Facebook or Twitter or iMessage, you could just do that very simply by hitting your gesture that you have assigned using the activator. So keep that in mind, guys. It's a very usable tweak and one that we can definitely get some use out of. The next one we're looking at is called Parental Controls for iOS. And this brings over the Mac Parental Controls, if you're familiar with those, to the iOS device. And what this does is allows parents to assign certain times that the user can actually use the iOS device, the amount of time they can use, and so on. So if you go in here and go to Parental iOS, I'm sorry, parental controls, and you enable that. Here you, you can set up a parent pass if you want to enter a parent password, and you would definitely have to do that. Here's your time limits you can set, and here's the hours allowed per weekday on the device, and so on. So definitely, the guys, if you need to, uh, the parents out there, this is an awesome way to limit your uh, child from using the device more than they should during the day and definitely you can set those time limits to whatever you feel is best so that's pretty awesome the next one's called c switcher and this adds a multi app switcher right inside your control center which believe it or not to me it just feels like it should have been there all along after you install it you'll see what i'm saying and to to uh actually disable an app you just put them in wiggle mode like you just saw me do and then just tap the x and it will actually close that app just like you saw me do right there to open up an app you simply just tap whatever you want to open i just tap the app store and you see it's taking us right straight into the app store pretty awesome little app guys that are tweak next is called faces now this works with your passcode and what this does is it adds, allows you to choose which photo you want to add in each passcode button. You see, I've chose the first three there. So I'll go in here now and enter my passcode and show you how you can change up some of these in faces. So go in here, it's enable, choose images. I have one, two, and three chosen. So let's go to four and let's say choose an existing photo. Choose anything in particular. We'll just choose something that you know it's me, uh, such as this. And now the number four button is going to be actually the picture of me you just saw right there. So that's pretty easy to, to change up, guys, and that's how that works. It's called Faces. Next one is my favorite called Volume Status 2. If you look up there in the little status bar, you see the little speaker up there, and notice that in front of it, it has like one little line or curve in front of it. If we go in here and turn the volume up, watch what happens up there. If I turn it all the way up, see all those different lines that come up on the volume now? You can see what your volume is set on without having to open control center or push a volume button to get a volume HUD pop up and I have the volume HUD actually disabled if we want to go in here and turn that off now you see when I push the volume key it gets the volume HUD and if we go back in here and turn our slider up you see it shows in the status bar up there I love that that's to me that's just something that should have already been there to start guys that's five free awesome cool tweaks check them out I think you'll really enjoy them don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up. it really helps me out and if you're not a subscriber we'd love to have you here hit that subscribe button before you go and keep coming back